We've been waiting, and it's finally here. Uncharted 4, and here's my thoughts about it. After years of hype, it's finally here, and we once again get to go adventuring with Nathan Drake in the fourth installment of the Uncharted franchise. So far, we've got to discover El Dorado in South America, the lost city of Shambhala in the Himalayas, and the Hiram of the Pillars in the Rab al Khali Desert. This time around, we go pirating in the search of Captain Henry Avery's lost treasure and the lost pirate sanctuary of Libertalia. Uncharted 4 is received with a lot of expectations. For me, personally, it's the one game that I have been waiting for to make the PlayStation 4 worth owning. So, the question is, does it actually live up to the expectations or not? Well, that of course depends on what exactly your expectations are. If you're expecting some kind of revolution or evolution of games, you will sadly be disappointed. If you, however, expect nothing more than Uncharted in a nicer package, then you will be pleasantly surprised. Uncharted 4 doesn't bring anything new to the game. Simply put, Uncharted. If you have played the previous games, then you know exactly what to expect here, only in a stunningly beautiful presentation. A game has never looked as good as this, and the attention to detail Founders. is simply astounding. But although Founders the environments that you explore throughout the game are indeed Avery beautiful and, and also impressively large, I often yeah. found myself clinging on to the path that makes the story progress instead of wandering off to explore. It's simply nothing there to give me enough reason to do so. The story itself is weaved into the game in a movie-style manner and blends gameplay and cutscenes in a mostly seamless way, and although not being a very original story, it keeps interest enough to make you keep going to see what's up next. The story and the beautiful graphics work together to spark a curiosity within me as I play that is rarely seen or perhaps never seen before. Story and graphics isn't enough to make a game work, however. The most important part in the mix is probably how the game is controlled. I've always been of the opinion that the Uncharted games is among the best when it comes to controls, and that goes for Uncharted 4 as well. Sure, there are moments when you get a bit frustrated because Nate doesn't jump where you want to or stretch for a ledge or stone that you're aiming for, but very rarely, if ever, do I think this should be blamed on the controls but rather you as a player, or at times the camera not acting exactly as you expect it to. Uncharted 4 isn't perfect, and I doubt anyone was foolish enough to expect it to be, but I still say it is one of the best games ever. At least, if you're into adventure type games like I am. At times, it can be a bit repetitive, it doesn't really bring any surprises or anything new to the genre or franchise. If you have been playing any of the previous Uncharted games, you know what to expect, all the way to the scripted accidents or plot twists, it's all there. But Uncharted 4 gives you exactly what you want, exactly what you expect, and it does so in a wonderful way, in the artistically most beautiful way that is ever possible. This, this is what I've been waiting for, and it lives up to every expectation that I possibly had. I had a great time joining Nate and the gang when he had another adventure, and I'm just sad that it was the last time I got to do so. But at least it ended with a bang. This is a certain must-have if you have a PlayStation 4. And with that, I'll wrap it up. Thank you for watching, and until next time, relax. It'll go better. Hey, not gonna lie, <laughs> this is pretty awesome.